how does my business run? I'm always talking about outsourcing. I'm always talking about supporting other people working together. Just a very short one to update you on the changes that are happening hopefully all for the better and all positive and it means that when you see me it will sound better in your head or if you're watching it will look better for you hello and welcome mentoring with geraldine is a bite-sized practitioner podcast for naturopaths nutritionists herbalists and practitioners this podcast responds directly to your needs the needs of the practicing natural therapist With interviews, herbal discussions, something business and something clinical each week, you'll get the variety you need and enjoy to stay motivated in practice. Hello everyone and welcome to Mentoring with Geraldine and the Bite Size Podcast. How the devil are you? So here we are at episode 161 and there's lots of changes afoot. So changes for me, changes you may or may not see, or if you're listening to the podcast rather than watching the YouTube channel, changes that you hear. So how does my business run? I'm always talking about outsourcing. I'm always talking about supporting other people working together. And what I decided to do is change my podcast editor, not because I've got anything, nothing that was great with Bailey. She's been wonderful. However, I've got this YouTube channel I'm not using. I do lots of conversations on in Strictly Education and support the Facebook group. There's lots of conversations in lots of places and I decided I needed to take on another employee. So as many of you will have met Andrea in the Facebook group, she does lots of postings for me and when I'm doing the lives and they're the training Tuesdays, generally on a Wednesday, but we'll get to that later. She's the one who tags. You'll see people tagged in the conversation. It's Andrea doing it for me. Now, Training Tuesday is one of my busiest days. So Training Tuesday, if you're in the Facebook group, Strictly Education and Support, you'll know often happens on a different day of the week. It's the, I mean, the surprise is if it does actually happen on a Tuesday. But anyway, so I've taken on Ella and Ella is going to be doing my podcast. So she's going to be editing them for me and she's going to be sorting out my YouTube channel. And she's going to be doing a lot of the background work because Andrea hasn't got time to do all of those things as well. So it's fantastic that I now have two people who are working in my business. I mean, I've got other people working in my business as well. So I have a bookkeeper and I've banged on about Marie's bookkeeping forever. Everyone knows that that was the first thing that I outsourced. So, and I outsourced with Marie because it was quite funny. She phoned and said, you need a bookkeeper. And I'm like, who are you? You know, and I have no idea how she found me. She's phoned and said, you need a bookkeeper. And I was like, really? Oh no, I'm okay. I don't need one. And she said, why don't we meet and chat? And I was like, yeah, okay. I don't really need one, but all right then. And we booked in a time. And then I thought, well, that's weird. She's not here. And she's like, no, I'm in Coba in New South Wales and I work online. And I was like, oh, how does that work? She said, well, did you just put everything in the post to me? I sort it all out and I send you back all your information. Oh, okay. So I thought, well, I'll give it a go. So I sent my first package up and I have not looked back. I don't know how many years we've worked together now. At the beginning of the pandemic, it all changed. I stopped having to post and there's now an app and I take photos of all my receipts. And so all I have to upload or email now are my bank statements. So life is so much easier for me. I love the fact I have a bookkeeper. Now I'm used to outsourcing and that I've always had a cleaner. And we got to Australia. I was pregnant. I had a toddler and it was hilarious actually because I wasn't, I'm not a very good cleaner anyway. And I have a tendency to do one thing. So I will go, oh, the drawers need tidying out and I'll tidy out the drawers. Or I actually have a pile of posting paper and envelopes. And when my clients come to collect things from the veranda, they collect the bottles of herbs or their supplements, or whatever I bought them. And I just put them in, what are those things called? Lunch bags, brown paper lunch bags is what I put them in. And I pop them out with their name on them. And so over in the corner, I pull out a brown paper bag, I pull it and so everything's sort of toppled over out of the posting bag. So I know I have to tidy that up and that will turn into a job and I will just do that and then maybe clean up more of that corner and tidy up more and check out some use by dates. I've got some creams and things over there that might be out of date. So I will go and tidy up that one thing. But that doesn't mean to say that I've vacuumed the house, I've mopped and I've done all the organized cleaning. So we first moved into this house and my husband... Well, we've been here about two days, I think. And he saw a cockroach on the floor and said, we need a cleaner. I'm like, okay, I'm good with that. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about it. 
<laughs> we haven't even unpacked the boxes yet. I'm all on for a cleaner. So we've always had a cleaner and she's amazing. And the thing about what I do is I'm often thinking about the bigger picture. I'm often off going, hey, it's time for me to organize a new course or the people in the 90 day program recently, I realized that they were actually missing out on an opportunity. So I've changed the 90 day program and that they are now welcome to one of my smaller next level groups as well, where we talk either clinical, so the client's actual problem, or we talk about their project. So they have more interaction with me. They have more accountability. So that was something I recently realized and I changed. So I'm always thinking about what can I do to help my mentees what is better? You know, I'm always thinking about how can I change up the graduate program so that it's even better for my mentees? What is it that they really need? How can I make this better for them so that they're really getting the input from me that they need? So this is what I'm, I've got this big picture thing going on. So I really need people who are keeping me on track. Like Andrea messages me, we need five things for social media this week we need X done. And so I will do those things hopefully then and there. And when I can't, she's messaged me and I'm working, she will then remind me that I have to do those things. And now I've taken on Ella, who knows that she's in charge of the podcasting. And so when I'm running low on podcasts, it will be up to her to contact me and go, hey, we need some more Um, because I like to batch my podcasts. I like to make sure that everything is ready to go. We've got a Google Drive that we're working in together. And it means that I've got people who are working for me who hopefully thinking, yes, this is what I want to do. This is the best thing. This is I can work in my own time, in my own space. There's no time bound apart from the number of hours they work. There's nothing time bound about when they have to do it. So if they want to be working at midnight, they can. I know my bookkeeper works at 11 o'clock midnight because I will get my bill through at midnight. And that's up to her. That's how she works. That's what she wants to do. She's a night owl. Go for it. So Working for me is hopefully an okay experience. I make sure that I pay holidays. When I'm sick or something happens, I will make sure that I pay my cleaner. When we had to go to quarantine, she couldn't come. So I paid her because I don't want to lose her because she can only take on five people a week. Or she actually does three now. She's been working for me a long time. But her maximum is five people a week. So if she has a maximum of five people a week and I'm the one who turns around and says, oh, sorry, we're in quarantine for two weeks, can't have you, then she might go, well, you know what? I need to go out and get a different job in those two days because I can't have someone cancelling on me and not paying me for a day that I'm just not there. So all of my staff get holiday. There's no unpaid time because I want to make sure that I look after them. And on my LinkedIn page, which I don't go to very often, I've got to be honest, but I do go and have a look and I randomly post occasionally when I remember, not very often, um, (laughs) but the people that I do follow on LinkedIn are all about positivity in working. They're all about supporting the employee. There's a lot of discussion. So one of the articles I read in there, I think it was Google. I can't be 100% sure. So maybe I shouldn't have even said, but one of these big tech giants, you go to work and then they supply you lunch and they supply you dinner. And that's to keep you on site working. It's not really to feed you and make sure you're healthy. It's to keep you working all the time because dinner comes at six o'clock. So you'll work till six, then you'll have your dinner. You might carry on working through dinner and then you go home. So they have you for a longer period, even though you're on a set salary. Now that doesn't work for me. I would, if I had a huge tech giant, if I had my masses of people working for me, I might think, yeah, I'm going to supply them with lunch because I want them to eat well because that's where I'm coming from and I'm coming from a natural health perspective. So I'd want them to have a good nutritious lunch. There wouldn't be a load of fried food there, for example. There would be um, lots of salads and food that they'd enjoy. And if they didn't want to eat it, then they can bring their own lunch. If they wanted to eat junk, they could. But supplying lunch would mean that I knew their brains were working, but I'd also want them to go home, which, or to have a night shift, to have shift workers working. But that's what I see the way I behave and I hope that I emulate good employment practices. I hope that what I am putting into place will support the people that work with me, whether they be employed directly by me like Ella and Andrea or indirectly like Marie and and the people that I work with as well. I mean, we can think about all our other outsourcing and employees as being our mentors as well. So I'm working with Nikki Clark at the moment and so I'm paying her, but I'm working with her. So you kind of can put her as an employee because I'm paying her for a service that helps me and helps my business. So when we think about 
What are we spending our money on? And are we fulfilling a purpose? And are we supporting others? And by supporting others, are we supporting the community as a whole? So I hope that I am. And you may notice some differences in the way things are because I've got Ella on board. So welcome Ella. From 161 onwards, she's going to be our podcast editor. She's going to be making sure that I perhaps do post to LinkedIn my little shorts there and that she creates more content for me so that we can move forward so that we work more smoothly together. And the more support that I get, it means things move more smoothly because I'm not so good at remembering to do things exactly on time, like Training Tuesday. So I'm going to leave it there today, just a very short one to update you on the changes that are happening, hopefully all for the better and all positive. And it means that when you see me, it will sound better in your head, or if you're watching, it will look better for you. So have an absolutely brilliant rest of day, and I look forward to catching up with you all really soon. Thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast for the weekly episodes. If you'd like even more support and learning, then the Academy is for you. Here you'll find part two of the herbal discussions, more clinical learning and case studies to support your clients in practice. Bye for now.